Senator Rubin. I can't say enough good things about Rebecca Clayton. She and my dad have turned the state of Wisconsin around with their leadership. Our families endured the recall election together. And ultimately, she and my dad followed through on their promises to take down the special interests and put the power back in the hands of the hardworking taxpayers. Rebecca is a smart, courageous woman who sets an example for so many in our state. Please welcome your Lieutenant Governor, Rebecca Claypish. Say, you all know that. I mean, when the main 
Macy's store came to our great state, the first question to Macy's was, will you offer coupons in the Sunday newspaper? <laughs> Governor Scott Walker has spared no American man, woman, or child his story about getting a sweater for a buck at Cole's clearance rent. <laughs> we in Wisconsin, we love to say, but there are some things that are just too good to save for ourselves. There are some things that must be shared. Wisconsin, I think it's time that we share with America. Our great governor, our great leader, the one who can return this country to prosperity, our governor, Scott Walker. the recallers got in motion. You remember because you watched it on TV and you read it in the newspaper too. We knew that there was going to be one moment when the protesterate would fire. We knew that there was going to be one night when they would have pizza parties at recall places across the entire state. That they would have contests in order to determine the first person to sign the recall petitions. We knew that they were going to set up card tables in parking lots and in gas stations all across our state where you could sign up to recall the governor on the white sheet and me on the pink. <laughs> but what you may also remember was right before they were about to begin, there was a mystery. Someone had taken out papers to recall just the governor. It was someone we didn't know. Even the journalists didn't know at the time. It was eerie, and it was a mystery. It was one more signal that this was a movement out of control. Even I didn't know. I was concerned for the governor, and so I texted him. Just two words. I wrote him the words, Jeremiah 2911. And a future. Just a moment later, my phone rang. The governor had texted me back. Just two simple words. Isaiah 54, 17. <laughs> the governor's verse says this. No weapon formed against you will prevail. <laughs> of the Lord, and this will be their vindication. America, are you ready to be vindicated? Are you ready for a great leader?